All right, so it's New Year's Day. I just finished my run here at home since the gym is closed. And you guys know I always just wanna to talk to you guys after I finish my runs. I'm tired of failing on my diet. It's just been up and down, up and down. This reprogramming thing, it is it for me. I'm getting my mind right. I knew that eventually I would get there because I was not gonna give up. So I get asked a lot of questions about how fast are you running? Do you run on an incline? How long do you run? And what you're really looking for with those questions is what does it take to lose weight? What do I need to do in order to get the weight off? And it, the thing is, is it's different for everybody. What I can tell you about what it takes to lose weight, exactly what you need to do is you need to push yourself hard. The thing that you can consistently gauge for whether or not you're doing what it needs to take to, to lose the weight is if you're pushing yourself. So, you know, for me right now, mine is for running at 4.5, running at 4.6 for, for, for 35 minutes consistently. But three months ago, that wasn't it. So it just depends. So if you're not used to working out or you're just getting started and you say, okay, I'm just gonna walk around the block one time. So if you're just walking easy peasy and make it around, you're not pushing yourself. You're only gonna make progress as long as you're pushing yourself. But if you're walking around the block and you're like, you know what, I can go a little bit faster. Maybe not the rest of the way, but just till I get to the stop sign, I'm just gonna go a little bit faster. And you get tired. What matters is the point where you get tired and you wanna stop and then pushing yourself past that limit. That's where your progress comes in. It doesn't matter if you're, if you're doing, if you're walking at 3.2 or walking at 2.5, and I'm walking at four point or running at 4.5. All that matters is that you're pushing yourself. That's the only way you're going to progress and lose more weight, get more in shape. Is every time you want to stop, you keep your, you make yourself go further than what you thought you could do. That's where the progress lies. That's the one consistency because where I'm at now is completely different from where I was three months ago, five months ago, and so on. So just make sure that you are wherever you are, like how, actually we were talking about it one time before, just do one minute extra. So if you're like, all right, I'm gonna go 20 minutes today, go 21 minutes. That's, a lot of times I end up going for 45 minutes on the treadmill, but every morning I wake up, it's just 35 minutes. That's all I'm committing myself to. And then I get to the 30, 35 minutes and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do one more minute. So I get to 36 and then I'm like, all right, I'm gonna make it match. So it's 36, 36. And then I just have to do one more second. I mean, I know it sounds a little, but you know, it. It, that's how I get to push myself. That's what makes me feel like I'm overcoming these obstacles. Just this one extra second, just this one extra minute. I can do 20 seconds more and then before I know it, I've been on the treadmill for 45 minutes. I was like, okay, I do have to go get ready for work now. So it's just pushing yourself. It's these little things. It's just like, you know how like if you're eating chips and you're like, you know what, I'm not even hungry. I'm just gonna have the one chip. And then you're like, okay, I'm just gonna have one more chip. Okay, I'm just gonna have one handful and then I'm done. And then before you know it, half the bag's gone. So you use that same technique towards your exercise, towards your diet, just that one little thing and it makes it snowball. And you know, there's um, Newton's law of motion. You, things that tend to be at rest or things at rest tend to stay at rest and things that in motion tend to stay in motion. So just start with that one little thing and it'll snowball and it'll build that momentum and just keep that momentum going every single day. Um, so anyways, I hope this video helped you guys. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful, safe New Year. Love you guys and thank you always for your love and support. Mwah.